Hey guys, uh, thought I'd just do a little quick thing on how to do an ANOVA, a one-way ANOVA, an R. Uh, I'm going to do this this problem, 13-1. It's, it's about uh, cotton, uh, about how the concentration of cotton and some, some material makes it stronger, is what they're trying to prove. Uh, I got this data from the Wiley website. Uh, basically, they did uh, one, two, three, four, five, five different uh, concentrations, and they did five runs for each uh, concentration. Uh, and what I did is uh, I I went ahead and. I made a little file here. Let me bring it up. Right. I got my little thing right here. Okay. And uh, let's see if I can kind of move this. No, I can't really do it. This is about the best I could get. Uh, so basically, what I did was I took I made a vector called cotton percentage, and uh, I made copies. I, I'm, I'm sure there's another way to do it, but uh, you have to group these together. You have to group uh, the, the the percentage with uh, the observation, and I'll show you how to do that. And I just entered, uh, because these vectors have to be the same length, and uh, you'll see in a second. So I just entered uh, five copies of 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. And then I just entered all the uh, the recorded data into a, a, a vector called strength. And, and then this was really important. This was giving me a problem right here. Uh, I'll show you what happens. All right, so I'll... I'll take this code right here and run it into R. Give this a second. Okay. And now, right, so it entered those two two commands. Now it's going to get this one. It is is numeric strength. All right. So that's true. That's supposed to be a numeric value. But this was giving me a problem here. You need to remember to do this. Is is numeric uh, cotton percentage? If that's true, you don't want that to be true. You want to change that to turn it into a factor, because that's one of the control factors. So you, you want to change that into a factor. All right. So turn that into that. It's a factor now, a, a vector of factors. Just to confirm that. See, okay, it's not a numeric anymore, all right? Okay, now I'm gonna uh, do the ANOVA. Let's move this out of the way here. Okay, now ANOVA, linear model, uh, uh, strength is affected by the cot cotton percentage, all right? This gives degrees of freedom, some squares, mean some squares, the F value, which is what we wanted. All right. Uh, and then if you want, you can go to your, your table, and <laughs> that's the most important part. You go to your table, and you, you know you get your uh, degrees of freedom. What a, uh, you know your, your degrees of freedom in the numer numerator, degrees of freedom in the denominator. And then uh, you can take for whichever value you want. I guess you know, the, the going rate is 5%, so 0 0.05. Uh, and then the F value is 14.7, which is obviously out of the range. I, I looked it up. It's like 2 point something, so that's way out of the range. Uh, and then... 
you wanted to, you could make a box plot of the strength related to cotton percentage. Make this small, move this over. Sorry about this. Oh, that doesn't, it's all scrunched. Let's, let's see. All right, and there we go. These are our different uh, concentrations right here. I did, there's no label on it. You guys can see the numbers. Okay, so 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. The strengths through over on the the y-axis, and you can see the means go all the way up until it's 30, and then it plummets back down after you, you reach 35% concentration of the cotton. So, you know, obviously from this graph, you you can tell that that uh, the, the 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 cotton concentration affects it, you know, but. It's just a, a basic thing. I just wanted to show this tutorial on on how to use R, you know, to do this because I didn't find too many too many good uh, references on the internet, and so I made this. So once again, the you make two vectors. Uh, and I'm sure there's another way. If somebody knows another way, please post a reply to this. Um, you got to make sure that. The control value is a factor. Uh, do the ANOVA for a linear model. That's what we're doing here. And you don't really need a box plot. But uh, you run these commands, and it'll give you your F value, which is what we wanted. Okay, enjoy the video. I'm signing off. Goodbye.